day with us Inghams. It's Monday morning and me and Chris are feeling good. We got, took the girls to school. Well, Chris drops the girls off at school. I stayed here with Prin Prin and we've just been having a bit of a clear out slash sort out this morning. Hence why there's boxes. <laughs> Okay, pretty. Boxes and things all around. These all need moving. But yeah, it's been a really good morning. Say good morning, I think. I'm gonna lick my mummy's arm, scratch my daddy's leather chair. You get in trouble, girl. You get in trouble. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys, she looks so cute since she's had a groom. You look so cute. Anyway, guys, I have a driving lesson. You just want so many cuddles today. I have a driving lesson in about an hour, and I need to go and change over the duvet the beds, the duvet covers, on our beds today. We did Isabel's on Friday, was it, when we did her bedroom makeover, and the rest of the bedding needs changing and washing and things like that. So I'm going to go and do that in a moment, but just before I do, well, let me see if I've got somewhere to pop you guys. There we go. Sorry, the camera angle might be a little bit high, but I've bodge jobbed a couple of boxes on the windowsill. But yeah, before we do, I just wanted to tell you guys about something that I need your help with. So we are so close now to reaching 1 million subscribers and you guys all know how excited we truly, truly are. And I know so many of you guys are just as excited too, which is amazing. And we're putting together a really special video that's going to be played somewhere not just on our channel we will be uploading a special video to our channel but it's also this video we're making is going to be played somewhere else i'm hoping that i can tell you about that before the end of this week it's to do with our celebration and i'm sure lots of you guys are going to be really excited when you find out what that is anyway what we need for this video is your favorite clips of any of our vlogs throughout the last 18 months or however long we've been vlogging 18 months two years we need your favorite clips they can be emotional and sad or they can be happy they can be funny they can be exciting it doesn't matter we need like a big range of clips and what I need you guys to do is comment down below and let me know the title of the video that your favorite clips in and if you can don't worry if you can't do this bit but if you can a time frame that that part appears in the video so if you look on our Twitter we've had lots of people already tweeting us this morning with their favorite bits so for example an emotional day turned bad was the title of the video and my favorite clip was Isabel crying and Chris hugging her at four minutes 37 seconds in and then we can easily find that video take that clip out and put it in this really special video so any video that you guys can remember of ours that have left you feeling any feeling whatsoever but have left you feeling something and you really enjoyed watching it comment them down below if you can the title of the video and the time that it was in the video so that we can pull all those clips together and make something super special for you guys and for us <laughs> Literally guys, just changed the duvet cover and on a super king size bed, it's not the easiest. And I've literally put the duvet into the duvet cover the wrong way. So it doesn't fit properly. And I'm sure the last time I changed this bed in, I did the exact same thing. Oh my gosh, Prinny, I'm boiling. So I need to take it all back out and do it again. Seriously, can't even change a bed cover. So I don't know if any of you guys remember the other day we went to a park and we took the hoverboard and we took the go-kart that attaches onto the hoverboard and we went to try it out and it failed. It like, I don't know what happened but it just broke. It like, stopped working. It keeps doing this every time we put the hovercart on to the hoverboard. The hoverboard is kind of like, it's like as if it just purges all of its charge in like a second and it's done. Because it's been charging all day and it was charging all day last time and every time we've used the hovercart it's been charging like all day and then we strap it on and we go to use it and it's like suddenly all the power just goes boom gone and the whole hoverboard is dead so it needs recharging we recharge it and then it's working again like it is right now and it just doesn't seem to like the hover car i don't know why so i've been reading up online about like how to attach it properly and all the rest of the stuff and it seems like i'm doing everything right so i've absolutely no idea why it keeps doing it but i promised isabel I would get it out today and see if we could make it work again because she's desperate to play on it. But, see look, it's working absolutely fine as a hoverboard right now. It's working fine. Here we go, here we go. No problems whatsoever. When we attach it up to the hover cart and see if it still works or not. Yo. <laughs> Yo, this is fun guys. 
Is that we're working? Now, nah, it's done it again. It's literally just dumped all its charge and it's not working anymore. See, this thing has been charging all night long, so it's got plenty of battery, so there should be no reason why it's doing that whatsoever, but it has, it's just stopped again. Totally lifeless and dead, like as if it's got no battery power. It's so, so annoying. I don't know why it'd be doing that. It's not like I'm too heavy for it. It's built for people like, you know, it's built for adults too. It's not built just for kids. It should be able to take my weight just fine. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing wrong with that hoverboard, but if you guys know, or if it's meant to be, like dumping its charge for some reason or whatever, then just let me know in the comments below because I have absolutely no idea. Okay guys, I just got home from my driving lesson, which went amazing, and I've just been catching up on Twitter and all your guys' memories of our previous vlogs. And I've been sat on the bed upstairs, literally, going through them all and then referencing them to the vlogs and watching back the vlogs. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is one of the reasons I am so grateful for YouTube and the fact that that day, two years ago, we decided after umming and ahhing for such a long time, pick up the camera, let's give this a shot and see how it goes. And if it doesn't work, we haven't lost anything, but maybe it will. And it did. And we've grown this amazing community and not only that, but we've got all of these incredible, incredible memories of our children to look back on. So I urge you right now, if you have a dream, go for it. Give it a go. You won't lose anything for trying, but you may miss out on such an amazing, life-changing opportunity if you let fear hold you back. What on earth is Chris doing out there? Look at that concentration phase, guys. Oh, check out the... <laughs> Check out the concentration. <laughs> I actually think that might be from here because the other day our dishwasher completely exploded everywhere and ruined a piece of wood down there. Now, anyone else, me and you, probably wouldn't have even bothered or noticed that a piece of wood had got water on it and bubbled a tiny bit really closer to the top. But Chris, he noticed it and so he had to change it and get more wood and cut and faff, faff. Anyway, I'm going to get myself a juicy apple because I'm not eating today. And I've probably got around 20 minutes before you need to set off and pick up the little two from school. Uh -huh. And then I need to set off because me and Isabel are going on a little girly adventure today whilst Esme and I are at gymnastics. And we are going into Leeds because Isabel really wants to pick up a birthday present for Esme. And we've not had a chance to do that. And she said to me yesterday, oh, I didn't get to pick out my own present for Esme and I really wanted to buy her something out my own money. And I didn't. And I said, well, we could go while they're at gymnastics if we get the train straight from school. And she was like, yes. So that's what we're going to do. So we got the little ones bustled into the car. They've got some snacks after school. Nice fruit winder, Esme. We're just about to pick Isabel up from school. And then me and Isabel are going to get the train into Leeds as I mentioned before and these two as you can probably tell by their leotards are going off to gymnastics yay seatbelts on so whilst we've just left Sarah and Isabel on the train to Leeds we've just got to gymnastics gymnastics who's ready to do some good bending and twisting and climbing and flipping and, and balance and beaming and um, because sometimes we go we go out and want to have a break and yeah. for water and then so and now I've got my water ready. You got your water ready for it, yeah? Yeah. You got your water? Yeah. Yeah, are we ready girls? Yeah. Alright, come on then, let's do it. Let's go get our balance beam on. It's oh. my favourite time of the week. And it's my birthday on Wednesday, this Wednesday. We can't forget that darling because you've told us every single day. Yeah. Every hour. Yeah. Every, every day. Yeah. One more day till your birthday. Whoa, show me again. Whoa. That's great, Isla. <laughs> That's so good. You could do that on a balance beam. Maybe. Maybe I can do it. Wait, and keep on going around like... Like a ballerina? Yeah. Wow. That's so cool. So I just picked up Isabel from school and we are now on the train into Leeds. Look at this face. Look at this face. 
<laughs> we're just heading into Leeds right now where we're going to go and have a quick look for some presents for Esme from Isabel and she's going to be vlogging that for her own channel so I'll probably not include too much footage on this channel just because it's Isabel's idea and Isabel's footage for her own channel and she's going to be uploading the video of her doing her little shopping spree and then choosing Esme's present and showing you guys what she bought Esme and she will be uploading when you upload it Izzy she's going to be uploading that video on Wednesday so keep an eye out for it on her channel <laughs> I'm well after that after that tiny wiggle tell me you're joking girl so we're just Hi. looking for Esme. Hi, really like There's so much cute stuff. So Too cute. much cute stuff. So Isabel's finished all of her shopping right now. She's got everything she wanted to get for Esme. She's got some lovely presents, bless her. We were just walking past the Skechers shop. I am such a sucker for this shop. And they've got a sale on. Look at all these beautiful shoes i love twinkle toes so so much and esme's trainers are looking a little grubby and guys look how nice these are literally so cute so are those so are those so are these <laughs> so are these they're all so pretty look at the bows on that they're so mega i literally wish i was a young girl again and I could wear all these. I also think these are amazing and I think Esme would love these. But these are expensive, so definitely not for a birthday with what we've already bought for her. But I think those are so cool. Maybe she can ask Santa for those. As soon as gymnastics is only just down the road from Leeds City Centre, we decided to bounce in and meet Mum and Isabel right yeah. now. For Guys, girls. Go on. this is so weird because my hair this morning was up here, right up here, yeah. and it was all the way down here. Like but what did you get at gymnastics? I got Sticker. You got a sticker for being for, a no, superstar. I, did, I got a sticker for being a superstar and I got a sticker for because I was doing plank for the longest way we got on the floor and you put your legs up here. Yeah. I got a sticker and I did it for the longest. Why did you get a sticker? I just because we couldn't choose the start of the week for my group it was all too good. So did you all get stickers? Yeah we all got stickers. That's so good. Well done yeah. Bill. Well done Esme. Yeah. <laughs> gymnastics class yeah. they decided to come to Leeds and join us which I'm really grateful for because now we don't have to get the train home and it's raining really really raining it's that really fine wet rain guys the real reason oh, of course it's not dry rain but I mean like I mean like that rain that gets you really drenched and another reason I'm really glad they came to meet us is because <laughs> Bless daddy. <laughs> Carry in the back. <laughs> I won't. Oh, what are you doing, Ez? Wow, you look like you've been dragged through a hedge backwards. I know. And then pushed back down the other side. <laughs> I'm just my something new. Look at this bed, it's cool. Let's have a look. Oh, is that what came with your set from Lottie? Yeah. That's really sweet. Like that. That's really nice, that babe. That's cool. And I got a table with a bench. Yeah. Very cute, isn't it? You we might just want to confirm what we just mean when Isla just said, Can you do my butt butt? What do you mean? <laughs> Can you fasten my poppers? Yes, I will do. These are probably my favourite pajamas, you guys. I love these. They are so. I just found them. I'm like, and now I'm like, oh. And you know what bed is awesome? Because you can just pretend that you have a beautiful dress on with, so you can lay up the clouds. Thanks, to Daddy. Yep. And then get your get your arms out at the side, so it looks like you actually have the dress on. 
that's right although it's a bit of a mess right now with your pajama box sticking out and a big mess but yeah it's one of those princess dresses isn't it yeah. lovely jubbly also guys how unbelievably amazing are these emoji pillows that we were sent from a charity a very special one indeed and tomorrow me chris and the girls are going to be doing an emoji keep me uppy challenge so i don't think we actually filmed father's day yesterday or anything that we did for father's day other than going out and meeting up with family and having dinner which was really really lovely but we did father's day card yesterday however esme literally so 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 sweet she came down and she said daddy's not coming in here until bedtime is he and I was a bit confused. I was like, no, he's just upstairs doing something. And she ran upstairs, came back down. And then she goes, I'm just going to leave that here. And she's gone up to bed. Oh my gosh, guys, look how cute. And actually awesome this drawing is. Guys, look how cute that is. Oh my goodness, she's drawn him and it's just the most adorable drawing ever. And she's even done the eye fam hat. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> Look at the stubble. <laughs> so guys, I'm just literally trying to go onto the vlog to find a question of question of the day for question of the day before I end and it literally will not let me and I don't know why. Nothing will come up, our channel won't come up. So I do apologise for that, but obviously I cannot physically get onto YouTube without this little monkey jumping up and... So I can't do question of the day today. But thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I'm sure I had something to tell you guys at the end of this vlog. I remember saying earlier, I'll tell them at the end. What was it? No, it's not going to come to me. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. Isabel's just in the shower still. Esme and Isla, I'm about to go do some reading with them. And then we're going to be settling down for the evening. Thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. And we'll see you all again tomorrow at 5pm for a very exciting daily vlog. Good night, guys. Mwah.